Hi, Jamie here from Poodle Press. Hope you're well. Here's a look at uh, the next version of WooBuilder, WooBuilder version 2. And the big change in WooBuilder version 2 is that you can actually create templates and then reuse them on your product. So you don't have to recreate each product from scratch. So it's a big improvement. So I'm just going to show you a few of the new things when you're creating a new product, which you're going to then utilize when you create your templates. So it's a two-stage process. You'll create your template and then you'll basically decide to use that template on new products. So let me show you how this works. So I'm just going to create a, a brand new product from scratch to start with and I'm just going to use WooCommerce to do this and let me just work very quickly so I'm going to create a banana this is my product so I'm just put, putting in the description and then it's going to be a very expensive banana so it's nine pounds and that's my short description and then I'm just going to select a product image quickly so at the moment we're just we're just uh, using WooCommerce and then I'll publish it okay and then I'm going to create a, um, a nice simple layout using WooBuilder to um, improve that layout of that product. So this is this this is what we've got at the moment. Here's my banana. And this is just standard WooCommerce layout. And um, I'm going to now take this to the next level. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to go to Edit Product at the top. And then I'm going to use the Product Builder, uh, WooBuilder. So I'm going to click on that tab. And this is where we can start to build up the product. So I'm just going to do a few things now. When I scroll down here, you'll see we've got this new drag and drop module called um, product details which is cool so I can just drag that in and that's going to bring in um, the product details the product title short description product price and how to cut now you can remove these just by clicking those there but I'm happy with that and then I'm just going to delete this top row and then what I'd like to do for this as well is just add a background now we've added uh, a new feature here where you can actually select the product image of that product which I preset as the background image of a row now, which is really cool. So you can do stuff like this. So I'm going to make that full width. I will, I will make it full height as well, just to make it a bit more exciting. And there we go. And of course, because this is using Page Builder, if you want to move this text around, you can just drag that text where you like, which is really cool. So I'll just drag it up there for now. Uh, and then the only other thing I'm going to add into this uh, product is some product tabs. So we've got a bit more information on the product. But again, you could add more stuff in here if you wanted to. It's, it's really up to you. You can design this, this uh, product layout as you like. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And then I'm just going to update it. So, that, so there's my new product. And I'm happy with that layout. So I'd like to actually uh, use that for existing products, but also uh, apply on new products as well. So it's like a template now. And to make it a template, this is how you do it. So I go back to the dashboard. And then I go to Page Builder and Settings. And you'll see we've got this new setting here, Woo Builder Starter Template. And in there, I'm going to choose that product as my starter template. So now when I create new products, it's going to follow that exact same um, layout. And also, if I want to change existing products into that layout, I can just go into them and um, choose that layout. So it's really cool. So let me just show you that. I'm just going to create a new product from scratch. Here we go. And I'm just going to choose a product image to start with. So let's choose, um, which is a good example. Let's choose this one here, because that's a good example. So this is some nice headphones. So again, I'll just give it a title. I'm just going to put in some gibberish as my dummy text. I'll give it a price. And again, just a short description. And again, I'm just going to publish that now. But the big difference is this time is that when I click on the product builder tab up here, what it should do is uh, take that template, which I've pre-built, and actually use that as the base template for those headphones. And there we go. Isn't that cool? And of course, because this is a page builder, we can just do things like this. So it's take, taking the same information and just laying it out for you automatically. And then all you have to do is click Update to the top. And there's my new product. So it's super super quick now to create to create your, your uh, templates and then for new products or existing products if you want to switch them into this layout. You can do it really, really simply. Great. So there's a look at Woo Builder version 2. I hope you're going to love it. And thanks for watching.